Hello Capricorns, how are you? Welcome, welcome, my name is Misty the Mystic. Welcome to Sugarfoot Tarot. If you've been to my channel before, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. This is my chance for my heart and soul to connect with yours and my angels and guides to hang out with your angels and guides. So thank you. And um, so this is for Capricorn, October 2020, Love for Single. This is a snapshot or a sample, if you will, of what your month might be like. Please check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus sign videos to get a real rounded view of what your month would be like. And Venus sign definitely because this is a love read. And hello to all my cross watchers. Hello, hello. We have chosen the Day of the Dead cards to honor to honor our ancestors and loved ones that have passed on. If we need to clarify anything, we've also chosen the Zombie Tarot. If you would like your own personal reading, please grab me at sugarfoottarot.com. And let's go ahead and get going, switch the energy, and go from there, okay? Thank you. Okay, so in upon meditating for you, and also I'm trying something new here, and I'm really liking how it's turning out. I'm also thinking about next month doing like, you know, general singles and couples, but we'll see. But this so far I'm really liking. Meditating, I saw a ship, an old-fashioned ship in the middle of the ocean, stagnant. Now, I did not get upon this ship. I did hear noises, so I'm assuming there's parties, but I don't think so. I think it was nice and quiet. But I didn't see any ripples of rings of water around it. So it's, it's just like you're an island. That's how you're feeling. Also, I'm seeing people keeping to themselves and not pursuing anybody. So after I meditated, I always shuffled the cards, obviously. And three cards fell out. First one was the five of coins. Um, so you've been down and out. You've had rough times. You've been single. We've all had pasts. It's just been a lot of baloney, and you're over it. You want a family. The Ten of Cups, you have all this love to give. And you want, you want this beautiful family. And don't we all? King or Queen of Cups, don't get caught up in the gender. All my cards are for readings are for all love. Boy, boy, girl, 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 boy. Uh, but you have all this love to give. Also, um, you could have a water sign come in or that someone is going to get your attention or try to get your attention as well for October 2020. And you have a lot of love to give. So those are the three cards that fell out. I'm hearing three more times, so two more times. One more time. And let's get started, my Capricorns. Okay. Singles, love, Capricorn. First card. Oops, two came out. Queen of Wands. So you could have a lot of, um, of fire in your chart. Or a fire sign may come in, male or female. Don't get caught up in the gender. Uh, so very nice. It could be someone that's going to bring in some life to you, some excitement. Um, compulsive. Uh, likes to you like to plan everything you want things to live by rules they don't they're going to bring this spicy this extra spiciness to your life um it's going to be hard at first it's going to be exciting but it's going to be hard because you're not going to have control um of how the outcome will be but you'll it'll be exciting this is the other one that came out with it okay so yes you've had the past through your swords now there might be two people so there might be three as a crowd in this. There might be three people that you're dealing with. They might have an ex that they're dealing with. I don't think you have an ex that you're dealing with, but you, there might be two people that you like. So three, I'm hearing three as a crowd. Um, could just be dealing with an ex of your future partner or partner that you're going to meet in October. Um, but also in the past, you've been cheated on. It's been hurtful. You have to do with your emotions as well. Um, as dealing with them. Uh, but this also, this person might be a fan fatale. 
this girl or boy that's coming in might be a flash in the pan. You know, not everything that glitters is gold. So just be mindless of, of, of enjoying what's going on. But also keep yourself too, just to make sure that things aren't going to happen, that they're not pulling the wool of your eyes as well. Okay, king or queen of coins, that's you. Um, so that's you are an earth sign. You could be dealing with another earth sign, but I believe this is this will be you. Um, being in between, so someone is worried about someone's not trusting somebody. Let's keep going here. The devil. So there, there you are. You're in this. This is the devil card. Not that you are the devil, but this is my Capricorn card. Um, so codependency, wanting to have a relationship. You may be wanting to be single and this person may be really attached to you and you feel stifled. Or you want a relationship so bad that this person may feel stifled because it's under here. But I think they're going to be so into you that you're not going to be able to breathe. Um, this is what's interesting to me, but there is definitely some codependency going on, some um, obsession with sex going on, maybe someone hasn't had it in a while and they're hoping to have it again. There's some issues with this right here. Page of Cups. So dealing with emotions, dealing with another, dealing with a water sign. You could have a lot of water in your chart. The person could have a lot of water. They could be a water sign. Or there is three is a crowd. I see three people. Um, you are an earth sign and you're dealing with a water sign and a fire sign. So there is someone not wanting to make commitment. I see three is a crowd. Either you're having two people or they're having two people. But this person is stuck in the middle, and it's it's too much. Three is a crowd. Now this is very interesting, my Capricorns. I'm there. You are again, and you're right underneath you. There's the coin. So you know your worth. You know you're awesome. Um, I, I just keep getting three is a crowd. So you know yourself. You really only want one. You're hoping that they will make a decision or you're hoping that you'll make a decision. I think they may have two people. You are the one that doesn't, you're the one that's faithful. This is you. You want one partner. They're the one that has multiple partners and that, and some like that. Some want multiple partners, but if you are not wanting that, if, if three is a crowd, be mind's eye upon this. High Priestess. So, high priestess or a high priest, someone that has all the knowledge, all the power, I believe that is you. You know what's going on. You're going to sit back and wait and let these people duke it out. Or what are they going to decide? No skin off your nose. You could be dealing with someone that is um, a high priestess or a, a high priest that has all the power as a master that knows how to pull the strings, know how to play chess is one or two steps forward beyond anyone else. But I think that's you. I don't think that's the other two people. I think you know what's going on. You're just kind of sitting back and letting things be. You're enjoying the intimacy, the codependency, the love, the sexual, you know, all that good stuff. It's You need to either decide between two people or they need to decide between two people. Right now, you're just doing your own thing. Very interesting, my Capricorn. Very interesting. Six of Wands. So you're on top. You are the King of King, Lord of Lords. You have control. You're happy. You're doing your own thing. So I think there's two people after you. Three is a crowd. I just keep getting three is a crowd. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Empress, so you will choose one or they will choose one. You will have one partner. Be mindful that they may not have one partner. But you and this other person will be monogamous. You will be that one person. They will be that diamond in the rough. All the drama over here. 
It's up to you to deal with it or not deal with it. You don't want any king of cars or broken windows or any drama. Just be mindful of what's going on over here. Three is a crowd. You will end up, you will end up with the Empress and the Emperor just one on one. Very cool. Exciting. Capricorns, let me know how this goes. If you don't want to put it down below because it's personal, readings are very personal, DM me. Uh, if you want a personal reading, grab me on sugarfoottarot.com. Very interesting. Thank you, Capricorns. Have a good month.